we're going to go through step 61 through 67, which is the end of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design course's first project. Um, excuse me. Learn HTML by building a cat photo app. So um, after the main element, so we're going to add a uh, footer element. So this is a lot of, a lot of places put um, maybe the copyright information inside the footer. So the footer just means it's at the end of the document. Um, and we're not going to see anything right here because we haven't put anything inside. But this main is like where all the main information goes. So this whole page, but then the copyright information, not so important. So we'll just add a, um, we'll just add a paragraph that's going to talk about the copyright, which actually, in this case, is no copyright. Um, Thanks, Free Code Camp, for actually making this course. Uh, so there we go. No copyright. Um, and so, right, we put this link, but you can't click it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our anchor tag to anchor it to another site. So we're just going to add the href attribute, and then we can just copy and paste this link and put it inside the quotes. And would you look at that? It's a real link. Cool. All right. Next. Um, we're gonna put in a head element. So body is where all the text that gets displayed here um, goes. But the head element has a lot of important stuff and I'll show you an example um, on the next step. So we're just gonna add that in, go to the next step. All right, so we're gonna add this title. So we're gonna type it in and I'll show you if uh, we were actually making um, a website or um, if we're, right, this is, um, displaying the HTML within another site. But if this is the entire site, so if all was displayed on the page was this, um, this title cat photo app would actually go um, right here. Um, so on this site, the title uh, says learn HTML by building a cat photo app step 65. And then we've got a pipe freecodecamp.org. So that's the title of this site. Um, and so on our website, our, our title would be cat photo app instead. Um, and so we have this HTML tag that's everything um, on the site is going to go almost everything actually is besides for the last step will go inside HTML tags. Um, we want to specify that our website or this page is in English. So we'll do lang equals en inside of that HTML. And so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a doc type HTML. And so we're going to write doc type in all caps and HTML. So this is just going to say to the browser, Hey, we're using HTML here. So document type, we're using HTML. So that's the markup language. HTML is a markup language. You put these tags like section or H2 around text and it displays a certain way like this. Um, and so these are not going to be visible changes, but they're to help the web browser such as Firefox or Chrome, um, or I guess Microsoft edge or whatever browser you're using so that it understands, um, what kind of document it is and uh, how to display. So um, that's it. Uh, congratulations on completing your first course in, uh, on Free Code Camp or first project on their um, responsive web design uh, course.